Well, hello everyone, welcome back to me. Now, what I'm about to say is not strictly associated with dressing the way that I do, or dressing the way that I do out there, or just dressing a certain way. This mindset that I'm about to share with you can be applied to pretty much every aspect of your life. In fact, there are entire books dedicated to this subject. A book I have not read, so I'm actually gonna give you my own opinion on this mindset. A mindset that will make sure guarantee that you will be at least a little bit happier with your life from this video onwards. I will use some real life examples, examples of myself, examples of friends, examples of strangers I have spoken to, perhaps maybe if I can think of any. Now you may think that not giving a shit is actually part and parcel of who you are. Maybe some people just don't care, whereas some people care immensely. Personally, I think it's a bit of both. I think perhaps it's, some of it is nature, some of it is nurture. You have to nurture a part of your nature. So I've told many story times on this channel detailing my crappy school life, how badly I wanted to be part of a friend group and how it wasn't so much that I cared what they thought, it was more just I wanted to be part of a friend group. Now I have had negative reviews of social interactions I've had with people. Jake can be a little bit too intense. Jake can talk too much. I wish he'd stop trying to debate video games. And yes, all these things at some point in my life whenever I heard them from other people did make me feel a little bit self-conscious. And it did get me down for quite some time. Not any time recently, but it did get me down. I thought, man, I, I have to change these things about myself. And yet every single time I would get into another social interaction, I would have the same problem. I could see and hear myself doing it again. But here's the really important part, ladies and gentlemen, and that is I had some fantastic social interactions with people being that person, and I had some bad social interactions being that person. And you know what I realized? Not everyone is going to like you. I tried to change. I tried to dumb down parts of my personality that some people didn't like. And guess what? That just leaves you sort of lacking in the personality department because you are too afraid to do anything that might possibly offend someone. I have great friends. I do. I don't have a lot of them, but that's by choice. We all have friends and people in our lives that we think, man, they would be so much better if they just didn't have that aspect to their personality, but we're still friends with them, we still love them. And that is because human beings have many different aspects to their personalities and their lives, both through nature and nurture. And the best way to go through life is to not only accept people for who they are, but also accept you for who you are, because you're special. Though not that special, don't let it go to your head. With over 7 billion people on this planet and growing, there's bound to be a couple of doppelgangers, don't you think? I'm sure there's another one of me out there somewhere. And this actually leads in to the title of the video, and that is... How to stop giving a shit. Other titles include how to stop giving a flying fuck, how to not give a rat's ass, how to not give a soggy fuck about what people think, among various other title ideas. <laughs> and that is... If you have tried to change yourself and you have failed, and it's making you miserable because you think you're a bad person. Well, guess what? You're not a bad person. You've just been dealing with people who don't mesh with the person that you are. And therefore, if you become comfortable in yourself, I know the negative aspects of my personality, and I've tried to change them, and I can't. And therefore, I have accepted that that is part of who I am. And yet, I still have friends and people who love me. Because despite my appearance, I am a human being. And once you accept yourself, and you accept that concept, it is so much easier to go through life without giving a shit. Let me give you a general rule of thumb. Let me give you like a snap thought that you can apply to pretty much any situation. Whenever someone says you cannot do something, right? That is someone thinking that you are unable to do something. Whether it comes from jealousy because they think you actually can and they don't want to tell you. Shame of their own lack of motivation to go and do something with their lives. Fear that you may be more successful than them. There's many different reasons why people will tell you that you cannot do something. Okay, so here it is. Here is the, the, the top secret that you can apply to any situation where someone is like, oh, you, I think you look like this. I think you that. I think you can't make it. I can't blah blah blah. I, th I think I think about you, right? You say to yourself or to this Asshole, out loud, it's your choice. Fortunately, I don't need you to think I can do it in order to do it. Here's an example. Uh, you dress like that, but you're actually not that unique. I don't think you're very unique. Luckily, asshole, in my comment section, I don't need you to think I'm unique for me to feel and be unique. Boom, diffused, negated. They are defeated and destroyed. You wanna be a freelance artist? You wanna draw pictures for people? People like me, or maybe for people who are far more important and successful than me. <laughs> like a brand, or a company, or whatever. And you say this to someone, right? And, and they say, you can't do that. I don't think you're gonna be able to do that. 
That's, that's far beyond what you're capable of. And you say, I don't need you to think I'm capable of doing it in order for me to do it. Whether you succeed or you don't succeed, at least you tried. And I know the fear of failing is just so immense. It outweighs almost the motivation to do it, you know? But I read this book, and I can't remember the name of the book, it's something like how to deal with pressure. And I read something very, very key, very important, very pertinent, something very poignant. And it was this, it, w it, was, it was talking about the concept of thinking everything that could go wrong, everything bad that could happen, everything negative that could possibly happen in a situation of, of something that you're trying to achieve or trying to do, whether it be tr performing on stage or releasing a song or trying to be a popular artist or trying to be a YouTuber or blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Insert goal or desired vocation here. You basically flip your thinking on it. In layman's terms, you go from a glass that is half empty to half full. You are thinking about everything that could possibly go wrong. And because you're thinking of everything that could possibly go wrong, you think that everything is going to go wrong. In fact, if you focus on things going wrong enough, things might just go wrong. So what I want you to do is flip it. I just want you to immediately stop doing it. See what my hand is doing? Flip. In case it's not clear, instead of focusing on everything that could go wrong, therefore giving you even more anxiety and putting even more pressure on, instead I want you to think of everything that could go right, which is most likely going to be the outcome. Oh, what if I get on stage and I play the wrong notes and I can't sing and everything breaks and we, we mess up a song halfway through and we're, in, we're on the stage in front of everyone? Relax. Instead think, man, what if we get on stage and we play the songs perfectly and we perform incredibly, outstanding performance that people would talk about for years to come? You will find that your anxiety levels will, will dip. Most certainly do try everything in your best efforts to make sure that you perform well or draw well or whatever it is that you need to do on the day or in order to pursue your goal. But if you're in the situation, it means you are pursuing something that you want out of life. And that is good. That's positive. You should be excited and happy that you're doing it. So think about what you're doing positively. Otherwise, in every single pursuit of what you want to achieve, if you think about the negative things that could possibly happen, you're going to make yourself anxious and you're going to give yourself a very negative view of the thing that you set out to achieve. And you don't want that. You don't want to assign your goal and your dream with something negative. Look, don't get me wrong. If you have anxiety, of course, these things are going to be much harder for you to deal with. But this is actually a concept for something else. This is, this is all about dealing with pressure and the fear of failing, but primarily I want to talk about not giving Because you can achieve almost anything as long as you adopt this mindset of not caring what people think. Because I don't care what people think. Clearly. So allow me to address some of the comments that I have got, inspired by seeing videos of me not only dressing like this, but also dressing like this out in the real world. And that is caring too much of what people will think or how they will react when they see you. Look, don't get me wrong. I've had rocks thrown at me, fireworks thrown at me. I've actually had a little carton of gravy chips or fries for you Americans thrown at me as I've as I've gotten onto a bus to go into town. Luckily, they missed. I've had people cackle as I walk by. <laughs> I've heard people audibly convey confusion. What the f- And all of it is worth it because I get to feel comfortable in my own skin. I get to feel proud and confident in being who I am. Some sniveling little peasant is not going to bother me to the point where I'm going to not be myself. The world is so much bigger than that, and life is so much more important than that. Because you see, these small-minded individuals very rarely get anywhere in their lives. I kind of like to think about that whenever I get laughed at, or, or jeered, or have something thrown at me, or people leave crappy comments, or whatever it is. You know, sometimes you like to think like, well, screw you, I like to be who I am, and I'm not gonna let you stop me. That's a very positive way, but sometimes, I do like to delve into a, a little more of a revenge fantasy. And by revenge fantasy, I mean revenge reality that I acknowledge in my head, and, and that is, well, you're going nowhere with your life. <laughs> These eating chavs will die with nothing and I will have everything. And it's the same with, with hate comments too. They don't affect me, even you know, I delete them for your benefit. But whenever I get hate comments or people just being stupid in the comment section and I read it, the same thought process goes through my head. It is just slightly different because it's a lot more specific to the situation of leaving a hate comment on a complete stranger's video. And it's this, what kind of miserable, angry piece of shit 
must you be to go onto the video of something you know you are going to hate and leave a comment saying how much you hate them. <laughs> here's, here's the best bit. Because they clicked on the video and then left a comment and then most likely disliked the video, that is three levels of engagement with my video, which means they are only going to be seeing more of me in their recommended. <laughs> and that is just delicious to me. <laughs> but do you know what also completely, you know, negates and diffuses hate comments? Is that there was only one time in my life I have ever left a negative or shitty comment on someone else's video. And that was when I was in the lowest point in my life because that is the only place you could ever be in mentally that could make you do something like that If you don't like something then you don't say anything if you like something then you can say something positive Such is the mindset of healthy people who are in good places in their lives or at least have a good mental grasp of the things in their lives Or at least appreciate the content that they're seeing that could be helping them with their lives but in order to seek something out and leave a crappy comment on it or in order to look at someone in public and shout something at them you have to be really insecure or in a place in your life because happy people don't do things like this happy people don't leave negative comments happy people content people with their own lives don't shout at unique strangers in the street no these are actions reserved for unhappy and sad people. So when I receive negative criticism in the streets, or if I receive negative criticism about my videos or the way I look, usually the way I look, not about how the video is, it's usually about how I look in the comment section, I just think I've already won. My life is far more fulfilled and happier than this, because I would not do that to them. And once you realize that negative reactions to you usually come from people who are in negative places in their lives, you just need to have a little bit of perspective. Acknowledge that you are living your life the way you want to live it. And some people are going to react negatively to that for reasons stated previously in this video. Never ever let the passing comments of complete assholes get in the way of who you want to be. Life is too damn short. So what does it matter? 10 years will pass and you would have changed your entire life based off one idiot's opinion. When you think about it on that scale, doesn't that sound ridiculous? You just altered your entire life because of the negative opinions of a few people. What does it matter? What do their opinions matter? There could be people leaving crappy comments on this video. In fact, I still get crappy comments. I don't care. I don't need them to think I'm great in order for me to think I'm great. Now do not misunderstand that statement. I am not saying I'm better than anyone else. I'm simply saying that I think I'm pretty great. Not better than anyone else. Just that I appreciate and acknowledge my own greatness, as should you. So be the coolest and the best you can be by not giving a shit what unimportant people think, because they're just that. They are unimportant. But do you know what is important? You. Yes, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm at, no, I'm actually pointing at you. You are important. More important than the passing opinion of your peers, your friends, strangers, family, and you deserve to be you. The exact same amount I deserve to be me. So hopefully this video made sense because none of this video was scripted. None of this video was scripted. All of this information is floating around in my head. This is the mindset I keep in order to maintain a positive attitude and to maintain being myself, which I know from experience makes me happy. This makes me happy. So thank you everyone for uh, tu tuning in. Can I just say a huge, huge thank you to all of the Patreon names that you're about to see. So many new people on my Patreon and it is amazing. As you guys know, me and Kaya are gonna be moving and the more people that sign up to the Patreon, the easier that dream will be to achieve. Airplane. This interruption is brought to you by Flybee. F you, Flybee. Me and Kaya have only 12 months left in this country and you guys have already been incredible support. And I only hope to see more of your names and more of you sign up to get those audiobooks and have your name at the end of these videos. And I will be recording the audiobooks in the next few days. So you can expect your audiobooks sent to Patreon really shortly. I'm actually going to have to make a new goal now just because of the amount of people that have signed up. It's so amazing. Thank you guys so much. And today is the 1st of June, so let's start it off with a very positive bang being this video. Perhaps maybe some of you and hopefully some of you have shifted your mindset to be a little more positive because it is possible to be positive. I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but 
Naturally, I'm a very negative person. I am a pessimist by nature. I always think negatively. I always think the worst is going to happen and I'm going to fail. But a few years ago, I decided to adopt a far more positive mindset because when I was negative, nothing good happened. And since I've been positive, well, and not immediately, this took years of positive thinking. You don't need to be Mr. Sunshine, just occasionally, if you can manage it, Think of something good that could happen rather than something bad, even just once. Okay, everyone, I'm finally going to sign off. I'll see you in the next video, which should be Monday, if everything goes to plan. And I had a great day today because I made it a great day. And so can you. Okay, goodbye, everyone.